everyone and welcome back to 5-Minute Family Search. So now in this video I would like to teach you how to navigate inside your tree. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to click on Albert Gustav Griesacker, that is my grandfather, and I can see here a picture. This comes up. If I don't like that picture I can click on it and I can choose another portrait. I could take a picture with my camera and upload it into Family Search or I could select another picture from the gallery. I'm just going to click on this arrow to go back. Here is his name, Albert Gustav Riesacker. Everything on the screen is clickable. So if I click there, I can go in and edit his information. I'm going to come back out of there. Here he, we know he lived from 1917 to 2006. And this is his unique ID number that was given to him when he was put into Family Search. So we are going to go here and we're going to work on the Details tab. These are his vitals, his name, his birth, his death, and his burial. These again are all clickable. I can click on each of these and it will take me into his information. I am going to go ahead and click on this. I'd like to show you this red icon right here, this pin. If I click on that, it's going to open up a Google map and it's going to show me the major events of his birth, his death, his burial, where they happened on the Wisconsin map. So here is a residence that was put in off of a census report. Here is his burial in Spooner, Wisconsin. So it just kind of gives me a visual on a map of, like I said, the major events that happened that are recorded right now in Family Search. I'm going to go back out and I'm going to go back out again. So again, his name, his birth, his death, his burial. I'm going to scroll down more. And again, another place to work on his name if it was misspelled incorrectly or anything like that. Here are residences. These were pulled from census reports that showed where he lived at what times of his life. I can add information. If I come down to this green circle right here, I can come in and I can add in information. I can add in like a christening, a life sketch if I wanted to type up some information about him. If he had an alternate name, like a nickname that he went by, that would be good to put in. So all of these are just more... It, it's just more information that I can put in. He was cremated. I did not put that in his record. That would be something for people to know. Military service, I could go in and document that more for him. So all of these just give us a little bit more of a painted picture of who our relative was. And again, this is in the details page of the app. And again, everything in here is clickable that you can go in and add or change information.